Hello, and welcome to AIM International's preparatory tutorials for the Information Certification Exam. I'm Steve Weissman, Principal Consultant at Holly Group and a certified AIM training instructor in the realm of content, process, and information management. I'll be your guide as we review the exam's major domains of expertise, and I'll tell you all you need to know to earn that passing grade. Today's subject is implementation planning, a key part of this special certification which AIM created to support you as you solve your organization's existing information-related problems and plan for its future. For 60 years, AIM has been the leading nonprofit association, helping users understand how to best manage documents, content records, and business processes. This module is part of the Plan and Implement Knowledge Domain, one of six within the certification program. In it, we'll look at several of the leading software development methodologies, including Waterfall, Iterative, Agile, Lean, Spiral, and Rapid Application Development. The Waterfall, or Cascade Framework, involves a sequential process in which each stage generally must be completed before the next can begin. Although it allows for review to make sure each one has been completed, and completed properly, it discourages revisiting stages once they're complete. As such, it's been criticized as being too rigid, especially compared to more flexible methods like iterative frameworks. Iterative frameworks call for the periodic, if not frequent, review and revision of work done, promoting development through evolutionary advancement. Iterations typically will occur at an incremental level, as with a time-boxed mini-project, though some methods are iterative but not incremental, for instance, spiral. Agile and Lean are among the many iterative development methods. Agile software frameworks develop solutions and requirements through the use and collaboration of self-organizing cross-functional teams that utilize these techniques to do their work. Adaptive planning, evolutionary development and delivery, a time-boxed iterative approach, and rapid and flexible responses to change. Lean development takes its cues from Toyota's Lean Manufacturing Strategy and was first proposed by Mary and Tom Poppendiek in their 2003 book Implementing Lean Software Development. This methodology can be broken down into seven principles. Eliminate waste, Amplify learning, decide as late as possible, deliver as fast as possible, empower the team, build in integrity, and see the whole. As in car building, the idea is to manufacture code with as much creativity and little wasted energy as possible. Spiral method is both top down and bottom up in its approach to development, combining aspects of the waterfall framework and prototype modeling. Spiral is iterative and includes elements of risk management by virtue of identifying both technical and managerial risks. Beginning in the middle, every trip around the spiral passes through the following task regions. Determine the objectives, alternatives, and constraints on the new iteration. Evaluate alternatives and identify and resolve risk issues. Develop and verify the product for this iteration. And plan the next iteration. Rapid Application Development Methods, or RAD, design systems by using structured techniques and prototyping to define user requirements. In the first stage, preliminary data and business process models are developed. In the next, the requirements are verified through prototyping. Then these stages are repeated iteratively. RAD approaches can trade performance and functionality for quicker development and better application maintenance so care must be taken that too much quality is not sacrificed in the name of speed. This module has looked at several leading software development methodologies, including Waterfall, Iterative, Agile, Lean, Spiral, and Rapid Application Development. Having completed it, you may next wish to review the module on RFIs and RFPs. The material you have just reviewed is part of a broader program of study that prepares you to take the Information Certification Exam. This proctored test consists of 100 multiple choice questions and is delivered electronically by Prometric. You'll have two hours to complete it, and upon passing, you'll earn a professional certification that's valid for three years. For more information, please visit www.aim.org certification. Thank you.